Number 17. Determine the oxidation states of the elements in the compounds listed, and none of the oxygen-containing compounds are peroxides or superoxides. Okay, so we've done tons of problems like this already, right? This one, this one's not going to get us. We just need to find out the oxidation state of the individual elements in the compound SeO2. So I'm just going to write down my compound here, SeO2. I like to write things big. And in order to do this, we just need to memorize our little trend for oxidation states on the periodic table. If you want a full rundown of this chart, go see number 16A in this playlist. Uh, that one is where I, you know, go in depth into what the charges are. But basically, they're all, you know, based off of the group number. So anything in group one generally has or always has a plus one charge. Anything in group two generally has a plus two charge, right? But sometimes the um, oxidation states or the charges, so that's another word, oxidation state, aka just find the charge. Sometimes you're not going to follow the a trend, but the trend is really good to know. Okay, so remember... Just like we took charges, so let's just say, you know, X with the plus one and Y with the minus two. Remember, when we took charges and we crisscrossed them down, we found out what the compound was, right? right? So we're just going backwards here. We have the compound here with the subscripts. Now we're going to crisscross back up to see what those actual oxidation states are the charges were. Now... It says that there's, you know, selenium here. There's only one selenium, so I'm just going to write that down. And then O2. So, crisscross back up. This one told me that the oxygen was a negative one. And the two was crisscross back up, telling me that the selenium was a plus two. Now, remember, the pluses go in the front and the negatives go in the back. That's why I put a plus two two here and a negative one. Standard notation, always positives in the front and then comes your negative. So for this one, let's see. I know that selenium, well, from this, it tells me that selenium was a plus two and oxygen was a negative one. Now we just have to make sure that one of them abides by the rules of the oxidation state or the oxidation, you know, charges trend. Now, they gave us a little hint here. They said none of the oxygen-containing compounds are peroxides or superoxides. So, if that's the case, if oxygen does not exist as a peroxide or a superoxide, that means that oxygen will have a negative 2 charge. So, this will always follow its trend unless it's a peroxide or unless it's a superoxide. But oxygen being over here... It's in the a group that has the negative two. Oh, but what happened here? The oxygen, they're saying that it was a negative one. Ah, so this must have been simplified. So we have to get that negative two back. What can I do to get to negative two? By multiplication. I could take the negative two and times it by two. Right, Because when we simplify, remember, we always divide. So if we got to bring it back up to the charge that it has to be, and then in this case it has to be a negative 2, I'm going to multiply. So negative 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. But i got to be fair. If I multiply the oxygen by the 2, I also have to multiply the selenium charge by... Ooh, I kind of gave you the answer. By 2 as well, right? And then plus 2 times 2 is a plus 4. And those are your oxidation states. If you just left it as a plus two and a minus one, mm -mm, your professor or teacher will mark you wrong. So now I know that selenium, its oxidation state was a plus four. And remember, in chemistry, plus four really means that you lost four electrons. The plus means lost right? Because you're more positive than negative. Electrons are negative, so you have to lose to become more positive. 
And then the oxygen is a negative two. And in this case, the negative means that you gained electrons. And in this case, oxygen gained two electrons. You're more negative than what you should have been, so you gained the electrons, which were negative. And that's it. We just determined the oxidation states. Here they are. Selenium was a plus four. Oxygen's a minus two. And that's the end for this one. Guys, what do you think? Hopefully this helps. Let me know in the comments what you thought. I love helping you guys out. And if you want to help me out and my brother out and the channel, just click that subscribe button, please. And also tell your classmates that this service exists for you guys. Completely free on YouTube. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Okay, bye-bye.